today I was thinking we could take a little peek at some of the tools and utilities I use to make uh, my life easier as a, as a computer guy. Um, most of them are going to be focused on the GNOME desktop extensions because, well, I kind of live in that environment and I think that it's a great environment to build off of. So we're going to look at a few um, GNOME um, extensions that I use for productivity. Things that make my life just a bazillion times easier. Um, all of these except for one of them you can get extensions.gnome.org um, the Pomodoro plugin, that one is actually, they recommend you get it from your repository and it's in most distributions repositories because um, it kind of keeps speed with the development of GNOME itself. So um, obviously the weather app. Um, I live in California it gets it goes between warm to warmer most of the time but as you can see once in a while we get rain and it's so uncommon out here that it literally can sneak up on you like what what is this it's rain um, very useful little applet um, this is the screensaver here this is caffeine uh, y you might have seen this on other platforms but basically if you if you click on it and the little steam lines are there it keeps the screen from falling asleep um, you click it again and it allows the screen to rest to save electricity very awesome plugin the Pomodoro plugin which we'll, we'll go back to in a minute that's just my widget for um, OBS which I'm using to record this um, then over here we have Redshift Redshift is it's a screen colorization tool. Basically the idea is in the evening time the blue colors can really affect your eyesight in the evening when everything else is dark. So this kind of brings a nice red tint. I might simulate it right about here. Uh, a red tint to your screen that, that makes it easier to focus, less strain on your eyes in the evening. It's not great if you're doing anything color important, but if you're just like doing code or whatever it's actually a huge benefit just absolutely huge benefit and this last little one over here this is just a little plugin called clip it gotta make sure to blur all that out um, but clip it is basically a just a simple clipboard manager which once you've started using a clipboard manager in your day in and day out functionality it's just it's hard to go without it just want to take a few seconds to talk about the Pomodoro technique I think I'm saying that right, Pomodoro Technique. I'm relatively new to it, and it's a very useful technique, and that's what this whole plugin here is about. Um, but if you're not familiar with it, um, I'll have a link to the Wikipedia page down below so you can kind of familiarize with what it does. So we're gonna take a look at these uh, Pomodoro. 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 Let's look at the preferences. So you have your Pomodoro duration, which is how long you are supposed to focus and work. And then, of course, you have your break duration, which the default for a lot of the people who recommend Pomodoro technique, uh, say the 25 minute, five minute, uh, and then mixed with a 15 minute every four Pomodoros, which I think would be about every two hours. Yeah, that sounds about right, yeah. Every two hours, you take a 15-minute break, which is really good. Uh, you, you you work eight hours, you know, it's two hours in, you take your 15-minute break. I usually go for a walk then. And then you have your lunch break. And then before the last two hours, wrap up for the day. I usually take another little tiny little walk to keep my, uh, you know, from, from sitting so long. You know, you got to make sure you stay healthy. Uh, so this does the screen notifications, which is great. It just kind of takes over um, and it reminds you to take a break. You have settings for like sounds, end sounds, loud bell. Um, we have some plugins here. Um, Dark theme, which I'm not sure exactly how that works because Gnome's got a dark theme going on with the theme I checked, and it doesn't seem to look any different when I select or unselect dark theme. I don't know. Custom actions, I don't really need that because I'm just using the basic found uh, functions. And of course, sounds, but I think by default there's no sounds. So how does this thing work? Well, when you're getting ready to start doing things, boom, focus on your task. And this little circle, this little circle shrinks as you're working. Um, yeah, so as you can see on 24 minutes, 
but you'll see you, you can just glance up and you glance and be like oh I'm a fourth of the way done I'm half the way done but then when it's time for your break boom the whole screen gets dark it's like it's time to take a break you just tap exit and it gets out of there and it still keeps going on that five minute break but it's enough to like just jolt you out of what you're focusing on and then at the end of that you get back in your Pomodoro boom focus on task um, it's pretty pretty simple uh, you can pause it you know if you want to take you know you get a business call and you need to take that or something or you need to run to the bathroom pause it real quick and of course you can stop it whenever you want anytime you want you can run it don't run it I usually have it set up in the middle of the day when I need it the most when I need to focus uh, but towards the end of my work day and beginning of my work day I'm usually doing like loose set up things or shut down things anyways so um, so that's a quick little glance in the, the Pomodoro plugin. Okay, so hopefully some of these uh, tools help you out in your uh, productivity. Um, and if you haven't used the GNOME desktop in, in Linux yet, um, I know there's a, it's, it's very, I guess, divisive is the right word, where some people love it, some people hate it. Um, I'm definitely in the camp that I love it. It served me very well in the last few years. So uh, that's it for the moment, guys. Peace.